It's most likely if you are in the prophetic church to suspect your prophet because of the kind of teachings you are hearing here and there, which is cook and half-baked teachings that have been groomed by people who do not know what the prophetic is all about. A teacher will teach an evangelist we evangelize. A pastor we pastor and the prophet will prophesy. And not only prophesying, we'll be able to get the flocks to understand the crops and the nitty-pretties and the basic facts and the depth of the prophetic. So when you don't understand the prophetic, you will demonize it. You will downplay it. You'll be suspicious of it. And you might be in it and not receive it. So the prophetic is important. One of the reasons why we have so many people in the prophetic church getting confused is because we have too many people who are not prophets teaching about the prophetic. And those who are called in the prophetic are practicing it and thinking their members know it. And once we find ourselves in this dilemma, we will have a generation of novice under a prophet, not understanding the prophet, assuming they understand. And that's why it's most likely if you are in the prophetic church to suspect your prophet because of the kind of teachings you are hearing here and there, which is cook and half-baked teachings that have been groomed by people who do not know what the prophetic is all about. A teacher will teach. An evangelist will evangelize. A pastor will pastor. And the prophet will prophesy. And not only prophesying, we'll be able to get the flocks to understand the crops and the nitty-pretties and the basic facts and the depth of the prophetic. So when you don't understand the prophetic, you will demonize it. You will downplay it. You'll be suspicious of it. And you might be in it and not receive it. So the prophetic is important. Anybody can receive a prophetic word. But it is not anybody that should prophesy to you. That means whether you're a king, an unbeliever, a believer, you can receive prophecy. But it is not everybody that is assigned to prophesy to you. So when you have every person coming into your life prophesying to you, it simply means you have lost value of your capacity. A teacher in primary school cannot be a lecturer in the university. That some of you, you are past the elementary stage of life. You are in an higher institution in destiny. So you don't need a primary school teacher to talk to you on some areas. That is why God in Jeremiah 3.15 said that we give you pastors according to my heart, not your heart. So I will give you prophet according to my heart. They are going to feed you, teach you. So you must understand the bankruptcy or the inability of a prophet to teach is the downfall and misunderstanding and misinterpretation and undermining of that ministry. That is why every prophet that is calling this end time must strive to ensure that the people you are called to understand what the prophetic is all about. There are people God has assigned. There is a prophet over your life and everybody can be your prophet. That is why you will go under some pastors. You will never be satisfied. Not because they are not anointed. They are not sent to you. And if a man is not sent to you and you force yourself under him, you are going to be a nuisance to him or a downfall to him or he's going to destroy you. I want to 
talking to every one of you here. You are special. And that is why there is a special prophet assigned to your life and not everybody. Saul had one prophet. One prophet. Even after the death of Samuel, Saul still went to look for the dead body of Samuel to prophesy. David had one prophet, not two prophets. You can have ten people around your life prophesying to you, you will be a confusion. There are many confused members in the prophetic ministry. Having too many sources of people prophesying to them. And hear me, if there is a set of people that don't love themselves, it's prophets. Ego, bitterness, pride, and if there are people too who don't love prophets, people who don't understand the prophetic ministry because they want a prophet to be like a teacher or a prophet to be a pastor and an evangelist. So when they don't see them in that dimension, they demonize them. It is important you notice your prophet. 